The last few months have been an amazing time in my life. My talk show's just been renewed through 2017. I'm working on my seventh book, and I've got my wonderful family. And then Broadway came calling. The chance to play Mama Morton in Chicago on Broadway? I'm not passing that up. Your name hasn't been in the paper in a long time. In a I'm not learning how to sing like Mariah Carey. No, I don't have time for dilly dally with I'm late. This is so much. I don't do reality TV, but tonight, <laughs> it's all about to change. Did you cry the first time you hit the stage? I cried for about two weeks. Oh, please, I'm not, well, I'm not crying, Roz. You might. I do feel a little overwhelmed. Preparing for Broadway is the biggest challenge of my career. So buckle up, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. How you doing, Broadway? Life with the talk show does not stop. A typical weekday for me gets started at 5.30 in the morning. I've got to be at Wendy Studios in Manhattan by eight, and we're live out of New York at 10. Oh my God, I'm a half hour late this morning. I ate a bowl full of stress in the traffic. <laughs> so today you know we have the live show at 10, mm -hmm. post tape with Kevin Hart at 11.30. Okay. And the second one at 2.45. 2.45. Roberta is my assistant. Her office has become wherever I am. She's helping me hold it together. I am relying on her to just get it right and get it tight. Morning, everybody. Good morning, Wendy. This is Dan Fitzpatrick. Hey, guys. He is one of my fabulous producers here. And as I eat my string cheese and hot sauce, he is going to brief me on our guests. Kevin Hart and J.B. Smooth. Kevin Hart and J.B. Smooth. Boss, ready for rehearsal. Okay. Who's about to come out? Hi. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Thanks for being here. All right, here we go. Quiet, please. Thanks for joining us. How you doing? I've got the best staff, and we've worked together for four years, four seasons. Katy Perry, she revealed something absolutely disgusting. It was the story that I woke up to this morning. This Russell Brand texted her that he wanted a divorce on New Year's Eve. What would you do if somebody broke up with you on via text? The thing you do is you hold a press conference right here on the Wendy stage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Morel, before you start showing me, let me just get my wig put back. Wig, can you please put yeah. my wig back? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love my glam squad, in case you couldn't tell. Where did you get these um, clips? Ricky's. That's They're really cute, though, right? They are cute. Yeah. Am I too old to be wearing barrettes? Nancy Grace is older than me, and she wears them. Antoine, he's won an Emmy for doing my wigs, and I love him dearly. Highlight. Boom. Morel does my makeup. He has been, as they say, beating my face since the summer of 2008 when my talk show was just an idea, a six week sneak peek. What color? No, you can pick the color. Oh, I can? Yes. Memsor, he's from Africa. He speaks with an English accent and thinks he's better than everyone. Can I style it myself? <laughs> I brought in a fabulous Certainly. pair. Certainly. Well, I brought I in a... I don't mind the time. Okay. <laughs> but I love him dearly. For as long as I've been doing this talk show, I still feel like a schoolgirl when we're about to go live. On the count of three, I need everybody up out of the seats going crazy, all right? Chibi, are you ready back there? Here we go. One, two, three! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna see you twerk. 45 seconds. I stand on the stop. But my day doesn't stop when the show is over. The real reason my life is so crazy right now is because of what happened six weeks ago. Oh. 
the phone rang at our office one day and it was Broadway calling. And, you know, my team asked me if I wanted to be in Chicago. And I said, of course I do. Starting in June, the role of matron Mama Morton will be played by none other than Miss Wendy Williams! It's such an honor to be asked to be part of the Chicago cast. It's been on Broadway for 16 years, and currently the new production has earned 12 Tony Awards. Beginning today, um, I'm rehearsing six days a week. Monday's Broadway is dark, which is great. Um, but Mondays I do work the talk show. I'll be working seven days a week for the next, ooh, until the last weekday of July. Hello, darling. Roz! Hello. Hey! <laughs> Welcome. I'm so glad to be here. Welcome. Roz has been playing Mama Morton on and off for like 15 years, you know? Um, so she knows her stuff. Broadway is not like a talk show. Broadway is not like radio. Broadway is not like a bit part in Drop Dead Diva or Think Like a Man. Those are my credits. Mm -hmm. This is Broadway, Roz. Broadway's magic. What's the difference between this magic and everything else? There's no do-over. It's the moment, it's the audience, it's the instant gratification, it's the recovering from anything that happens, it's the joy of hearing that applause and seeing those faces, it's the high that you get. When, when people appreciate what you do and they're sitting right in front of you. Did you cry the first time you hit the stage? First time I did Broadway? Yeah. I cried for about two weeks. Oh, please. I'm not, well, I'm not crying, Roz. You might. Mm -mm. I cried for two weeks and I kept calling my mother saying, Mom, I'm on Broadway. I'm on Broadway. I did for about two weeks. I, I, it, I didn't believe it. It was surreal. How am I going to do this? Who am I kidding? It's officially the most challenging thing I've ever done in my career. You'll be more proud of this than anything else. All they, all they talk about these days is the heart kid. Yeah, all you read about today. All you read about today is the heart kid. That was the worst rehearsal of my life. <coughs> that sounds painful. Yeah. Last night I met Roz Ryan. She's currently playing the role of Matron Mama Morton. But in eight days, I'll be taking over that role. Did you cry the first time you hit the stage? First time I did Broadway? Yeah. I cried for about two weeks. Oh, please. I'm not, well, I'm not crying, Roz. You might. Mm -mm. I keep thinking about what Roz Ryan said, but I don't have time to be nervous, and I definitely don't have time for any tears. I have to promote my new book today, and then I have rehearsal. We're so thrilled to have here in the studio here in WOR on the Rita Cosby Show, my dear friend, Wendy Williams. It's so nice to be in here with you. Ask Wendy. If you're gonna ask Wendy, you're gonna get a Wendy response. And if I don't know the answer, then I'll be honest with you and tell you. To me, it's amazing what you're doing. You've got a great book. Um, you're doing appearances everywhere. And now you're going on Broadway. How are you juggling all this? I'm prioritizing, you know, Rita, prioritizing. You know you're gonna rock it. I know you're gonna be great. Your lips to God's ears, Rita. Oh, she's gonna be great. We'll be right back, everybody, but first, let's get a look at the traffic. So it's been a week since I've had vocal lessons, and um, I really do want to see Joan today. Really, I feel like I want to see her. I'm not learning how to sing like Mariah Carey. Um, she's just teaching me how to pace my voice so I can do the talk show and seven weeks on Broadway. <coughs> 
can you turn the air conditioner off? I have an air conditioner cold that has me verklempt. Here we are at Jones. <laughs> Hi, Joan. Hi, Wendy. How are you? I'm good. Joan is very scary. Joan has um, worked on voices on just about everybody who's on The Great White Way. She takes her work very seriously. <coughs> this is the end of your sickness. Yeah, no, no, I'm not sick. Well, we have eight days for showtime. I know. Now is not the time. <coughs> Wendy has not rehearsed enough, and uh, Wendy and I have not gotten together enough to work on technique. <laughs> So let's start with the two soft, one loud, two soft, yeah? Remember? Okay. Yep. Do you remember this? Remember? So, so Got it. When I first met Joan, I thought she was kooky. <laughs> mm. I still don't get this, but she knows her stuff. Put your fingers in that space. Pre mm. Pretend to laugh a little bit. Do you feel them do that? Yeah. That's what you're not doing. Like a frog, like a bullfrog. No, no. I'm not a singer. I'm just trying to get through seven weeks on Broadway without losing my voice. Like, I can't sing like these people. It's uh, not the best day for you to do this. It was pretty obvious. I was still masking. A simple cold. You know what? Do you know an ear, nose, and throat uh, doctor? Dr. Gwen Corvin. Gwen. Roberta, Dr. Gwen Corvin. Ear, nose, and throat. Yeah. Wendy's not ready yet. I'm feeling a little bit nervous. All right, I'll see you later on in the week, maybe? Yeah, you will. Okay. Okay. Goodbye, Bye, Joe. Goodbye. Thanks. You're welcome. All right, so now you need to do your hot talk briefing with Suzanne, Liza, and Dan. Talking with my producers about tomorrow's show, the car is not the most ideal place to do it. However, gotta do what you gotta do when you take on so many projects at once. Hello? Hi, Suzanne, it's Roberta and Wendy. Oh, hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi. Okay, we're gonna make this quick. One of my fears about trying to juggle all this in the air is I do not want to jeopardize the Wendy Williams talk show because above and beyond every last thing that I do, career-wise, without the talk show, Broadway wouldn't be calling. There's a Muppet whose dad is in jail? Yeah. Creating a new Muppet whose dad's in jail. Seven million children are growing up with a parent who is in prison. You know what, if th those are the stats, then a Muppet needs to be created and, uh, and this needs to be talked about. Okay, I have to go. Okay, bye. <coughs> this is so much. I have three hours of Broadway rehearsal today and I'm just getting started. So go ahead and start. Why don't we just run lines? Mama, Mama. Hey, look at this, Mama. The Tribune calls me the crime of the year. Well, there's a lot of excitement around. We have a celebrity coming in to play one of the principal roles, and we're all gonna rally around her and make sure that the whole thing goes as smoothly as possible for her. All they, all they talk about these days is the heart seat. Yeah, all you read about today. All you read about today is the heart kid. When we do it this time, just try to pick up your cues right away. Canceled? Well, your name hasn't been in the paper in a long time. In a in the papers for a long time. In the papers for a long time. If I don't know my line, then, then what am I good for? Because I know that the first thing people will say is, why did you bite off more than you can chew if you knew you couldn't do it? Punctuate <coughs> that with, which will drive you into the rest of the song. Great. <coughs> why don't we just do it and we'll walk. Sure. <coughs> that sounds painful. Yeah. It's, it's getting better. It's, yeah. That was the worst rehearsal of my life. And I don't feel like I'm getting better. I feel like I'm getting sicker. I mean the tour, the dance. I'm not prepared and I'm running out of time. And I'm scared. But today's a new day and I've got a lot to do. I'm heading to the studio now because on Broadway, you know, all of the actors and actresses do their own makeup. 
So my Morel makeup artist at the talk show is gonna teach me how to do my makeup for Broadway. Can you please show me how to do my makeup for Chicago? This is what you're gonna do first. You have to realize that you have to highlight because they need to be able to see all the dimensions in your face because people are gonna be sitting all, all the way in the back. back. So we're highlighting to bring out your cheekbones. It wants to be two to three shades lighter than your natural skin tone. The truth is, I can do my own makeup and I can do my own wig, but what I'm gonna miss about the Glam Squad is having their support backstage. I can't believe I'm doing Broadway though. You know, I mean, you I think can, you you're so dramatic. I think it's grand. I think it's very big. This is what you're She's supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is probably one of the hardest things I've ever done in my entire career. You're gonna do you a great job. You always do that and end up yes, turning it. Yes, you're gonna it, do so a great job. I'm not worried. I think you're gonna do well. Yeah, yeah it's just the expectation well. you have that you, you don't want to disappoint is in your head, but. You've always done well. With, you wouldn't have taken yeah. it if you had, didn't think you could do it, mm -hmm. and I think that you're gonna pull it off. Mm -hmm. It's you, it's, it's you, been you. That's your part. That's your role. I couldn't imagine my life as I know it now without the Glam Squad. Those boys are everything. <laughs>
is a given. I don't want to disappoint you. But there are people who work at ground zero of my operation, like the producers at the talk show, like Roberta, like Joan, you know, people who've really put themselves out to hold my hand and pull me through this. My mother and father are already picking out their opening night outfits. Overwhelmed. Really, I do. Oh my gosh. I can't be late. I have been late to a couple of our rehearsals and it's been due to traffic. I feel awful. Backstage opening night, surprisingly calm, except for me. I've never done this before. So here I am. No, I don't sing. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be good. My road to Broadway ain't easy. And yesterday I found out the most devastating news of all. I found out I have a polyp on my throat and a serious sinus infection. Okay, so we'll look, it's a little flexible scope, which will go in the nose. Okay. Take a deep breath, keep breathing. Oh, there is mouth. an infection there. <laughs> if that isn't bad enough, I have more bad news to share with my Wendy watchers. Do you remember the cold from last week? Yes. Do you remember the cold from the week before? Yes. Um, unfortunately, my Broadway debut, which was supposed to be tomorrow, as Matron Mama Morton in Chicago, has been put off till Friday. Aww. I was disappointed also. After announcing the delay of my Broadway debut, the amazing Christy Brinkley reached out to me. Christy played the role of Roxy Hart a few years ago, so she can totally relate to what I'm going through. So I invited her over to my hotel room for some lunch and girl talk. Christy, I have to tell you, I'm doing this Broadway along with the talk show through the summer, cheers. That's a lot. It is a lot. Um, I have a throat infection. Dr. Corvin. I went to her yesterday. Oh, she's the best. But last night, the phone rings to my management with Wendy's sinus infection. We don't feel as though she's ready to start on Tuesday. We're gonna push it to Friday. Okay. Christy, I was devastated. Let me just tell you. Christy, the first my... people I called, I called my parents and I cried like a five-year-old. You know what though? That happens all the time. The day before my opening night, I got out of bed and I stood up and my leg went like this. <gasps> and it was bent in this position and I couldn't move. I had to delay my opening uh, first performance for four nights. And I, you know, I just felt awful about it. Cause you're a worker bee. But you and know, they pleaser. said, look, if you don't do that, then you could jeopardize the entire run. Doing Broadway is a really big deal and you want it to be perfect. And Wendy, like millions before her, everything seems to go wrong right before your opening night. It's officially the most challenging thing I've ever done in my career. I agree, I agree, and that's why you'll be more proud of this than anything else. I'm so glad that Christy was able to meet with me. I feel like she's a sister in arms. And if she can get through it, I can get through it. <laughs> well, here's the way I got the story. There's this kitty. Wait. Well, here's the way I got the story. Staying in the hotel while it's nice and luxurious and I do enjoy room service. It was 
very lonely. I miss my family. I miss simple things. I'm a mom, and I just wanted to hear my son Kevin's voice. I wanted to hear that he's fine. Hi, honey. Yeah. I'm at the hotel. No, where there's plenty of stuff in the freezer, and there are plenty of drinks in the pantry. No, yeah, no, she's gonna take you to basketball tonight. I apologize, I can't be there. I love you too, honey. I'll call you after basketball, okay? All right, bye-bye. I miss the Kevins. I, like, I, I miss my life. Christy really did lift my spirits and she got me to thinking that I really do need to de-stress. It's gonna be okay. I don't get full days off, but I had a few hours before rehearsal, so I grabbed Roberta and we went to Jersey. I was so happy to be in the nail salon, a place that I'm used to. I was so happy to be, you know, amongst my, you know, townie friends. What do you think of Kim Kardashian naming right. her baby North? North? I have no problem with it. Northwest? I've heard worse names. I, well, I thought it was gonna start with a K. Well, I thought it was I, gonna start with a K also, but I guess Kanye put his foot down. Do you think they're gonna stay together? No. I don't no, think of course so. not. Do, do you? Think they're gonna get no, no, they're not. No. 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 Of this is what I love about Jersey. We right. say it, we don't mince words. I'm so stressed about this play. I almost forgot that you were doing my cuticles. What did you do after um, after we parted yesterday? Did you go out on a date? <laughs> no. I don't understand, Roberta. You're under 30. Take advantage of it before you become an old spinster cat lady. Do you have a cat? <laughs> no. Okay. Well, then you still have a chance. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's the food is excellent here. Ugh, I'm starving. You know, I love my diner food. There is nothing like a plate full of diner food and all the noise in diners on a Saturday morning. Mmm, so Jersey. <laughs> I'm so hungry, I have to focus on what to eat. Marion! Hi! Good, it's good to see you. Hello, boy, this is Eva. Thank you, how have you been? I'm good. Can I get some chicken liver and onions and um, red onion, crackers? Red onions. Red onions. Okay. Is the Szechuan chicken good or the crab cake salad? Okay. Can I have a spice, please? Chinese food at a diner. She's from San Diego, she doesn't get it. You know, you're at a diner, you order everything with an extra side of grease. You look great. Hi. When does the show start? Next week. That's gonna be fun. So we have to go. We're definitely gonna go, because I never saw the original. Thank you. And it was just nice to see my town people. And people knew I was going to be on Broadway, and it's very encouraging to hear people say, hey, we watch your talk show, or good luck on Broadway. Going to Broadway, I could use all the outside encouragement I could possibly get. It's nice, it's sweet. It's nice to talk to people. Mm. Mm. I hadn't had chicken liver in a moment. Pardon me, my mouth waters as I talk about it. You know, Roberta. I'm not one to share my food. However, mm -mm, I don't want it. Why? <laughs> it looks like cat poop. Thanks. <laughs> if you ask why. We have a limo to get to rehearsal. Already mad with the driver because he's late. I gotta be on time. Why are we making a left? Turn around, turn around, turn here. Turn here, turn here. Turn here, turn here. I don't want to be late. I don't want Broadway to think that I don't take this seriously. Roberta, can you get out and do something? <laughs> uh, um... Oh my gosh, I can't be late. I have been late to a couple of our rehearsals and it's been due to traffic and I feel awful. 
Thank God we got to rehearsal on time. You know, Broadway stops for no one and Joan does not play. If you want my gravy, pepper my ragu. Spice it up for mama, she'll get hot for you. I've only been working with Wendy for a few weeks. And so I would say she's come very far. When they pass the basket, when they pass, go to the Valder. When they pass the basket, better to you, to you, yeah. But guess what? Through all of her intimidating tactics, she's a softie. And then my parents cry. I got her to smile a lot. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a rush to my final fitting for my wig and costume and then my final dress rehearsal. This is my last chance to get this right. I don't have time to dilly, dilly dally with, I'm late. Hi, sweetheart. I'm going to wigs. Where's that? Downstairs in St. Jenna. Oh, downstairs. Jenna. Okay. So I had to be ready for a wardrobe at 3 p.m. I knew that Jenna, who does the wigs, um, she made my wig a synthetic uh, number two. That's almost near black for people who don't understand wigs. With number four highlights. Uh, that would be brown. Anyway, Jenna had my wig. Oh, hi. I need to uh, have a private moment with my new wig. This one's named Mama. When I put on the wig, it really starts to sink in. I'm gonna be on Broadway tomorrow in a pantsuit. How I'm doing. <laughs> this is beautiful. I feel like mama. You are the mama. In that pantsuit. Can we say how you doing? As soon as I put on that pantsuit, I felt like a lesbian. I mean, thespian. Oh, ah, whatever happened to class? Oh, you're living your lyric. <laughs> yeah. It was very boss. I'm considering asking them if I can buy it after I finish my run, just for when I have to intimidate people. Thank you. Yes, please. Thank you, everyone. Terrific. Yeah. Bravo. Jennifer Love, hip hip. You see, dearie, it's this way. Murder is like divorce. The reasons don't count, it's the grounds. Not guilty, that's all she ever says. Ooh. Anyway, you know who's defending Velma, don't Could you? Let's just go back on that little bit. This is the top of the trade, if I may say so, and it's really hard. The fact that she's coming in, she's learned all her lines, she knows all her blocking, and she's bringing nuance and subtlety and personality to the role is Amazing. We've lost interest. We don't want her. She's washed up. Oh. She's a bum. That first day that you step onto a Broadway stage is the most memorable day of your life. That is going to be the thing that is going to get her through this. Good to you! Yeah! Okay, big applause, big applause, big applause. And the lights are coming up. Tomorrow's the big day. I feel like I've been in an isolated boot camp for the last several weeks. I need a key key. And there are only three people to call when I really just need a key key. What time is it? It's 10.09 or 10 something. She's but I know she's watching the whole run through of the mm -hmm. play. So she's at the theater again. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited okay. though. Do you think she's nervous? I think she's terrified, but I think she's not terrified of the performer, she's terrified of pleasing everyone. Yes, she's a perfectionist. So how do you think she's going to be able to manage juggling both the show, the talk show, and... Oh! The and there she is. Oh! Ladies. America, welcome. Hey! Oh, hey. Ow. Hi, boys. Hey, how hey. how was Sorry, tonight? Later. Now, first, let me observe what everyone's wearing. <laughs> See-through leggings. Yeah. Poom-poom shorts. 
This old thing. I told you he was the gayest of us all. Ain't not that short. Antoine! Oh my gosh! He had on poom poom shorts and bottom smile on the shorts. You know what the bottom smile is at the booty? It's when you see boop boop. They were short. You serious? Bro, come here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm ready for tomorrow. I've got my lashes, lipstick. More important, how like Do you have your lines? My wig. <laughs> the question will be answered tomorrow. Curtain call 804. What's gonna go through your head at 804? When I hit the stage, revert back to one phrase. I'll show them. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. That's it. Everything that I am has been built on. I'll show them. I'll show you. I'm not gonna fight with you. I don't want to beg you for anything. I'll show you. And one day, you're going to want to be a part of whatever I am. And it's proven so, true so far. Yeah. So we, we have something. That works. Aww. Oh, this is from the whole staff. The whole staff. And yeah. yeah. Thank you. Toast to Wendy. <laughs> to Superwoman. <laughs> Best wishes to success. Ooh. Thank you. And break a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Good Opening night, surprisingly calm, except for me. I've never done this before. Oh my God, I look ridiculous. <laughs> I'm really acting. I'm gonna use two color reds to make the mama mouth. Is this a piece of Wendy hair hanging out? Don't would you get back in there and hide until after the performance? This is my first number and I am so excited, I can't tell you. I can't believe this is happening to me. So here I am. No, I don't sing. Do you know what mama's gonna do for you? She's gonna start you on a vaudeville tour. <laughs> it's, gonna be, it's gonna be good. I'm not gonna fail the people who put in time with me to make sure this goes right. There we go, enjoy the show. So this is it, Broadway, a place I never dreamt I'd be. But I'm ready. All of the sudden, my knees felt like jello. They were about to give out on me. I was so overwhelmed by everybody cheering. When they announced me, I walked out, I stopped at the wrong spot. Hey, baby. Ask any of the chickies in my pen. They'll tell you I'm the biggest mother hen. It was incredible. I had the full support of the audience and I felt unstoppable. When you're good. How you doing? <laughs> to mama. That was amazing. But nothing could prepare me for when I walked outside the stage door. expect that scene at the back door. I really didn't. The street was on fire. Wendy! 
And then we went down the street and I had a fabulous little soiree with my staff. All the people that meant the most to me were there and it felt wonderful. I couldn't believe it, right? I never thought you could sing like that. I can't. You're a veteran. No, not yet, Daddy. They, they say you're not a veteran at anything until after at least 10 times doing it. And I believe that. I won't be an expert at Broadway even after 10 times, but I can tell you this, I've conquered Broadway in my own way. Your energy is unbelievable. Thanks, Ross. You're gonna be fabulous. You're gonna just enjoy yourself, girl. And you got through the first one? Yes. Razzle dazzle. Yes. Razzle dazzle, baby. I have two shows tomorrow, and I am on Broadway. How you like me now?